Ciao a tutti, summer is here, I have a neighbor trimming the hedges, I have people cutting the grass and of course I also have a grill going because today we're going to be making panzanella which is a nice bread salad from Tuscany with some tomatoes, some red onions, some basil, olive oil and wine vinegar. Now let's get cooking with the grill. I'm just going to get a loaf of bread, nice Italian bread, a little bit crusty. When it's grilled it gives them that nice texture, I really love that. Beautiful, that's it. This will make a nice salad for around six people or so, four slices. That's it. Now let's get the grill ready. Uh, right here, the charcoals are ready. Of course, when the summer comes, I never use gas barbecue, always charcoal. Now let's put the bread on. That's it. Just gonna put one here, one here, one here, one here. When you grill on the charcoal, you gotta pay attention because you have a lot of heat, so it burns really fast. This is one of the reasons I keep the fire one side, so I can use the other one to make the bread rest so it doesn't burn. Look, this is already grilled. I like just a touch burned. It really gives the flavor to the salad and a little bit of character. There we go, just gonna get the bread. I use my hands, but don't do this at home. There we go, nice. Now I'm just gonna put the bread in the bowl, right here. Now we're gonna prepare the vegetable. I'm gonna start with the cucumber. That's it, when it's done, I'm just gonna cut it this in half. That's it, nice. Almost we wanna quarter them in length. Even this other one. That's it, a like nice chunky piece for my panzanella. And now I'm just gonna dice it. Simplicity of its best. That's one of my favorite salad ever. Now I'm just going to put the cucumber into a, another bowl. Now we're going to prepare the tomatoes. Of course for an Italian, tomato is summer. I like them when they're nice and ripe, bright color. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to add the tomatoes to the cucumber. Now I'm just going to prepare the last vegetable, the onion. Very important. I like just a little bit, not too much, otherwise it's too strong in the flavor. I'll just give it a little cut here. Doesn't have to be super precise, as long as the pieces are not too big. That's it, now we're just going to go the other way. That's it, we'll have just a nice dice. That's it, you can also go this way. That's it. Beautiful. So I'm just going to add some basil. I'm going to tear with my hands. So it doesn't oxidize, doesn't become dark, and the flavor stays intact. And I'm just going to add a touch of olive oil. I'm just going to remove the bread out of the bowl. And very briefly, we're just going to break it by hand. I like to do it by hand because uh, the piece are not perfect. That's what I like about it, it's rustic. Otherwise, if they're square like a crouton, for me, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel real almost. Now I'm just gonna add the vegetable to the bread. Beautiful. That's it. I'm just gonna add some salt now. Beautiful. I like to add the salt now, not the beginning. Otherwise, if we put it before, when we put the vegetable in the bowl, the vegetable, they start to release water and that makes the bread really wet. I don't like that. Now let's add some more olive oil. Beautiful. And now we're gonna use the other main ingredients, main dressing, which is white wine vinegar. Now I'm just gonna mix the salad. At home, you might wanna use your spoon. I use my hands, I think it tastes better. Time to try now. Mm. Make sure we have enough dressing. Get a little piece of this. Mm. Fantastic, you can really taste the summer. Cucumber, tomato, grilled bread. So easy to make. Now you go make this.